the 1.19 update is live right now every time there's an update there's always a new wave of weapons that are more dominant than the other in every single update and just playing with guns that used to be good a month ago are just not as good now and it's crazy how the meta is just always changing so i'm bringing you guys six of the best class setups that you should be using in order to dominate and have the upper hand in those public matches in black ops 4. all right so first we're going to start off with the sog 9 miller actually you know what hold on if you're not subscribed to the channel and you're watching this video and you saw it in your recommendations hit that subscribe button check out my other videos and most importantly turn on notifications because i feel like every time i upload not everybody is seeing my videos because of the oversaturation of channels that are uploading at the same time and i know you don't want to miss a youtube video from me and also leave a comment down below what are your top six class setups down below in the comments i'm extremely curious to see what you guys are rocking with this time around in this update we're going to start off with the sog nine millimeter now this is a gun that i did not include in the last update because i felt like it wasn't as good enough to roll with the other five setups that i had included now for some strange reason the song nine millimeter is getting a lot more hype nowadays so i decided to give it a try and i gotta hook you up with this class setup right here it is absolutely amazing now the thing that i like about the song nine millimeter is that it's a great setup to choose if you're trying to play on small to medium sized maps of course you got to take the gunfight to the enemy instead of trying to challenge from distance because obviously you're using an s G, it makes a lot more sense to close the gap between you and the enemy and try to win those gunfights head on and, and that's where the sog 9 millimeter really shines it's got a high fire rate and the thing that's really cool about this class setup is that it's one of the very few submachine guns that are super accurate you can still drop people from distance which is absolutely amazing that's why i like rolling with it and it's also a very complete class setup as far as attachments it is attachment heavy but it definitely does enough to get the job done and it has everything you need so let's go over it real quick uh, we got stock as you know mobility is very important in those gunfights if you're not strafing left and right while you're firing in those gunfights you are definitely doing it wrong you got to start getting into the habit of doing that and stock on the sog is definitely going to give you that extra mobility and agility in those gunfights that will help you win then we got fast mags fast mags is super important especially with a gun like the sog you run through those bullets really quickly and you're going to be out of ammo before you know it so you got to make sure you're always staying strapped you're reloaded and ready to go and get into those gunfights because how many times have we won one gunfight and then all of a sudden they got a teammate right next to them uh, ready to pop off so you always got to be ready for that so that's why fast mags is definitely a good option to have then we got grip so grip is definitely a game changer on the sog the sog definitely does have a bit of a kick to it especially if you're not that great with accuracy so definitely put on grip then we got quick draw quick draw is going to help you aim in so much faster uh, when you're in your strafing movements as well so that's why it's very important to put quick draw on it it's going to help you aim into your opponents and fire a lot faster especially when you're coming from a sprint and you're pairing that up with gung-ho which we do have here on this class setup it definitely does give you the upper hand and the jump on the enemy when you're in those gunfights so i would definitely say quick draw is definitely uh, a good attachment to have on there because without it you could definitely tell the difference it's a lot slower then i'm using stim shot this is personal choice if i'm playing aggressive it's more natural for me to use stim shot because obviously we're going to get into more frequent engagements and we might be out numbered at times and we might need to run away in certain situations and nothing's worse than getting shot when you're one shot and you're trying to run away from the situation or you're just trying to get back into action right away that's why stim shot is definitely a lifesaver and i highly recommend it as well uh perk one nothing here so we're going to be using crash on purpose so we can replenish our ammo and use his ammo crate ability at the right times you got to pay attention to how much ammo you have left that way you're not just wasting your ammo crate while you're playing the game and you're just putting it down in opportune times when you really need the ammo uh, then we got gung ho so we can fire our weapon a lot faster from sprinting this is going to go hand in hand with quick draw like i was saying earlier then i got dead sounds because i don't want to hear my own footsteps and most importantly i do not want the enemy to hear mine next setup right here is the maddox rfb i feel like in every update you got to have the maddox in there it's definitely a mainstay in my opinion and really the only time i use the maddox is just when i'm trying to have fun because you know the maddox is definitely an overrated type of weapon because it can be inconsistent at times that's why i don't really use it but i definitely felt like it was good enough to include in this top six class setup because i feel like like i said every player needs this try to use it in maps that are a lot smaller that way you have more an advantage when using the maddox because of that crazy fast fire rate it definitely melts from up close and with these attachments right here you can't go wrong so let's get into the attachments we got the elo sight double quick draw is going to be able to allow you to aim in 
so much faster the difference is night and day because you're able to aim in so much faster and that's going to be so key in winning those gunfights because you're able to get the shot off faster obviously if you're able to aim in a lot faster and my recommendation when you're specifically using this gun is to constantly be pre-aiming in and out in and out in and out on areas uh, where there's high enemy traffic uh, lines of sight or doorways entry points etc etc because that is exactly how you would want to use the gun like the Maddox uh, just so you could be able to get the aim in a lot faster all right then we got stock because like I was saying earlier with the SOG mobility is key and strafing left and right is definitely going to help you win those gunfights Okay, then I'm rocking stim shot because we are playing a lot more aggressive. Then I got scavenger so I can replenish my ammo, gung ho so we can fire faster from sprinting, and dead silence. You guys already know why I'm not going to explain the perks again, uh, but the main difference right here is we actually have scavenger, which is why this Maddox setup is really nice. We're able to use a different specialist if we wanted to because we have a more complete setup. We have all the attachments we need, we got the perfect gear for it, and we got the perfect perk setup on it as well. All right, so moving on, uh, this one is my main stay class setup i had a kn57 versus a vapor suppressor setup the votes were just completely unanimous you guys definitely killed it you guys definitely voted the kn to be the best suppressor setup in the game and i highly agree with that as well uh, because it, it just feels like it melts a lot faster and it just feels so natural having the suppressor on the kn so for attachments i got hybrid mags you're able to reload faster and it comes with extra ammo by default then we got stocks so we can strafe left and right in those gunfights and then we got rapid fire so we can fire more bullets into our enemy and lessen the time to kill then we got suppressor suppressor is the main reason why i like this class setup it still is a dominant beast and this is a setup i would probably use against tryhards or a full party uh, just so i could be able to sneak my score streaks in and be able to just dominate the game by being stealthy and using flanking tactics and just being able to call in all my score streaks a lot faster which brings me to the comsec device this is going to help us earn our score streaks at a discounted rate which is super key especially when you're playing a lot more passive aggressive and you're flanking and you're trying to be stealthy being able to sneak those kills and stack your score streaks as fast as possible is the reason why i like using comsec device on every single suppressor class setup so you guys may be wondering why does he always use comsec device on suppressor slash stealth class setups this is why the more sneaker you are the easier it is to be able to stack your score streaks a lot faster and then putting on comsec device and when you're playing stealthy you don't need to worry about those one-on-one -on -one confrontations those head-to-head -head gunfights all the time because you're not playing aggressive so it wouldn't make sense to use something like stim shot that would be kind of pointless in this class setup so that's why i use comsec device and i hope i really explained that well enough for you guys to understand perk one no perk so we're going to be using crash again using crash's tac 5 boost is going to help us get those score streaks a lot faster calling in at the right times you're going to earn all your score streaks maybe all at one time depending on what you're running then of course he has his ammo crate ability so we don't need scavenger for that uh, then we got gung-ho and dead silence i absolutely love this can class setup man it's so it's it's definitely a staple almost in almost every single update and it is proven time and time again that it is the best suppressor class setup hands down you guys definitely got tried if you have okay then we got the swordfish this is my second favorite suppressor class setup now the main reason why is because of the operator mod but we'll get into that in a little bit now the thing i like about the swordfish is that it is great for those long range maps like jungle or icebreaker you know to name a few those are good maps that you want to use the swordfish on because this is definitely a laser from distance from medium range now when you're playing up close make sure you're playing smart you're pre-aiming around those corners to be ready for those gunfights you got to learn how to play smart when you're using each weapon try to think about its strengths and weaknesses so that you're not caught up in a situation where you don't know how to utilize the weapon to its maximum potential for optics i got on the so for optics i got the reflex sight this this one is very good on the swordfish some people can use it without any sight at all they like using the default sight but me personally i like using the reflex on it because it allows me to have a more wider view of vision when i'm aimed in at my opponents i could see what else is around me and that will help me be able to react a lot faster uh, then i got hybrid mags for the same reason we have it on the KN. reloads a lot faster and comes with a lot more ammo then we got suppressors so we can stay stealthy and off of that mini map when we're firing our weapon then we got the operator mod the panta burst man you knock down all your shots 
it's going to be a one burst i'm not even joking guys this is why i really like this class setup if you haven't tried this setup you definitely got to try it out and remember play it to its strengths don't be stupid and just run around and rush and try to get into gunfights in close quarter combat that's just not how it works you got to use it smartly all right then we're going to pair it up with comsec device for the same reasons that we did with the suppressor class setup on the kn no perk one then we got gung ho and dead silence so we got to use crash with this class setup as well definitely a great alternative if you're looking for a uh, oops if you're looking for a long distance type of weapon that is still going to help you remain stealthy and under the radar uh, this is definitely the way to go i love the swordfish all right so the next weapon this would not be a 1.19 setup without the grav man i gotta include the grav now i'm gonna admit to you guys at first i didn't really think it was that great but they did buff it i believe now let me clear something up it may have seemed like i was complaining about the grav that it sucked or something like that but what i meant was like for a weapon that they hyped up to reach 15 million matches for i expected a super overpowered weapon that's all i was saying i didn't really say that the grab was a bad weapon it's actually a pretty good decent gun i've actually been melted by it so many times in public matches so that's why i feel like the grab definitely deserves to be in this update video right here uh, so if you want to make it as overpowered as hell definitely put on double grip that's definitely going to make it into a laser similar to the icr7 so that when you're firing in those gunfights and you're getting hit you're not going to flinch because of grip too uh, then we got stock so we can be a lot more mobile and strafe left and right then i got quick draw so we can aim in our weapon a lot faster and speed is going to be everything because definitely without stock or quick draw on this weapon it just feels too slow and sluggish and that's why quick draw and stock are definitely going to be key attachments to this weapon now of course it depends on your play style but obviously you want to play how you would with an ar uh, definitely this gun is good on medium to long range maps smaller maps obviously you want to play a lot smarter pre-aim around those corners like i was saying earlier with the swordfish then i got stim shot because we're going to be playing a little bit more aggressive with this class setup so being able to heal a lot faster is going to be key perk one no perk here perk two i got gung-ho and dead sound so we're going to be using crash again now this is one of those setups where you could be a little bit more uh diverse if you want to if you don't care about your footsteps you can definitely replace that for scavenger and that will be able to open up different possibilities for what specialists you use again you can mix and match whatever you want but as far as the attachments go i feel like these are super important to have this is just personally my opinion and what i've gained from experience all right so the last and final setup guys i cannot go making this video without including the rampart 17 the rampart 17 i feel like is king there's just no doubt about it the rampart 17 is just unfair it's like cheating and it's definitely that gun that you break the emergency glass for and use if you're going against people who are just absolutely destroying you this gun is definitely going to turn the tide a lot faster than you can imagine so that's why i got to include in this setup i'm rocking high caliber one and two it's going to make this a two to three shot kill weapon which is absolutely amazing from whatever distance most of your gunfights are mainly going to be from medium range so you can definitely count on your gunfights to be two to three gunshots at most then we got grip so we can control that recoil and fast max we can reload a lot faster because if you're going to be playing aggressive you need to be able to reload those magazines a lot faster especially with the rampart 17 you're going to find that you're running out of ammo fairly quickly so being able to replenish ammo faster is going to be high key then we got stim shot so we can recover a lot faster then i got no perk for perk one gung-ho and dead silence again you can switch around the perks mix and match to whatever you like but as far as the attachments goes here i believe that these are the best attachments for the rampart 17. all right so a wild card class setup that i have now the reason why i didn't include it in the main top six is because not everybody has the dlc weapons i wanted to make something that everybody can use now if you have the daemon this is a definitely great class setup to use i got double high caliber and i got hybrid mags then we got helium salvo to take down those nasty uavs that everybody keeps calling in it's definitely going to help you and your team out stay alive a lot longer and prevent the team from gaining any momentum then we got stim shot because we are playing a little bit more aggressive with this class setup scavengers so we can replenish ammo gung-ho and dead silence so yeah guys those are my top recommendations of weapons to be using you got everything from aggressive class setups to more reserved stealth flank suppressor class setups these are setups that you would definitely need no matter what situation you got even from the smgs to the ars to the tactical rifles it's definitely all much needed in this game now if you're curious about other class setups that i didn't mention i'm pretty sure i already covered it in videos previous to this so definitely check out my channel
channel for more videos. If you found this video helpful, do me a favor, drop a like on this video. I want to see if we can hit 500 likes. I know it's a crazy goal for my channel, but I know we can do it because I know you guys support Turbo Nation that much. And subscribe if you're new. If you're part of the 63% of people who have not subscribed, definitely subscribe right now. Don't forget to turn on notification. Notification gang, where you at, man? I want to see you guys in the comments. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, I just want to give a quick shout out to the people whose names are listed for officially joining the channel as a member. And if you are interested in joining, there's a link in the description that will take you there and some information on exclusive perks you get for joining as a thank you from me to you. Remember, this is not required by any means, and I appreciate all the support, whether you're a member or not. All right, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.